Hello people, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now today guys, remember I've already done a video. I have did a video, you can see. The video I've posted. Now, the video that follows, this video follows the video that I've posted. Now, <clears throat> remember I've done a video showing you how we do uh, wiring of a go down. So in a go down where you, you can mine, you are mining, whatever you are doing, your work so in a go down so many cases we will find it's very dark now we have so many entries no no now those entries need switches right okay you need to control those bulbs there are so many bulbs you need to control using one switches one switch but control that entry that entry it controls uh several several lightings now i want to, to introduce this contactor now this contactor will be holding those bulbs, those lightings, I mean those lightings. You can use so many lightings that will be burning out or overheating your switches. Remember this switch can only can only carry a maximum of 10 amperes. So if you have, uh, if let me say for example you have uh, 100 lightings and those lightings can uh, have a maximum of uh, uh, 100 amperes, okay? so now this switch okay guys <coughs> so now uh, our power supply main source is here so what i'm going to do i'm going to start uh, uh, wiring our load to the contactor so bear in mind that i'm going to start wiring so remember i'm not i'm going i'm not going to use uh, the old terminals okay so this one is the upper side of our contactor then the lower side so remember i've done so many videos showing you how a contactor principles works so welcome so i'm going to use the first terminal my first terminal here to be my neutral side okay then i'm going to wire so this one here is so i'm going to skip the second terminal i'm going to use the third terminal here i'm going to skip that okay then from the source now i'm going to take uh i'm going to take my power here from that side and then to Remember the terminal we used? We used uh, this one here. So I'm going to put it there. Okay. So my neutral, without forgetting the neutral cable. Okay. So this this one here and that one there so you see so you see guys so yeah let me put that way so that uh, when I will be using, <coughs> when I will be using my contactor to, so you see my load. So we have the A1, then the A2. The A2 is a neutral side. Uh, the A1, I'm going to. Okay, guys, remember I've done uh, <coughs> so many videos uh, explaining the principal working of the contactor. So the A2. I'm gonna use it to be my neutral then uh, the a1 I'm going to use it to be my my what my life from there from now the these switches here so first of all let me start by giving my contactor the neutral the neutral let me give my contactor the neutral uh, let me give my contact neutral so what i'm going to do i'm not going to pick it from here so i'm going to loop it from this okay 
okay remember i've said i'm going to do this i'm going to give this a2 to be my neutral okay be my neutral for that principle so because because uh, let me not interfere with you so let me use this a1 to be my because it is a uh, where it is uh, when you, you will see clearly you will see very very uh, clearly without me confusing some of you but if you are new on my channel make sure you watch those videos I've explained a lot <clears throat> I've explained a lot the principles of uh, principles of, uh, of the contactor Okay guys, so for that, uh, so let me make that so that you can see. So down here, I'm not going to interfere with anything, that one will be a lot. So let us come now to our <coughs> now switches, okay? Now the circuit. Now let us come now to the circuit control, I call it, let me assume, call it the circuit control. So remember that video. If you have watched it, uh, if you have several or uh, many terminal entries of your go down, you will make sure that you have switches, switches. Okay. If if another person enters uh, from another entry, you will have to put on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give my switch, my one gun two way switch power. I can decide. I can pick it from here. Or I'm going to pick it from here. So in that case, let me take it from this. Okay. Let me take it from this, from the source. Sorry for that. Okay. 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 Now, then. Uh, Give it to the common terminal. The common terminal. Okay. Give it to the common terminal. Then from there, I'm going to I'm going to take from A to. Okay, and then uh, do this. Okay guys, now I want you to understand this concept. So the source, then that source, it has given our contactor, then from the contactor now to the load. Now remember that load will be large, okay? So because of that load, we don't want our switches to overheat. We don't want those switches to overheat because of the heavy load and the large load, okay? That heating, uh, that heating is can be very dangerous you can can burn out your it's very risky <clears throat> those who know so 
then now to our switches uh, to our switches remember then uh, that concept remember I told you if you want if you have so many uh, entries you can use so many intermediate switch now intermediate switch and another intermediate switch another one another one now to the last side now you, you're gonna use the one gun to a switch now for that I explain too much for you to understand remember don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to like and also most importantly don't skip those ads okay that is the only way of supporting this channel guys please now this cable that goes now to the to your to your bags okay to your load now you come and uh, give it to a2 okay come and give it to a2 okay You come and give it to A2. Okay. So remember from the power source to our contactor. Now the contactor gives down. So you give the neutral. You give the you, know, you give the contactor the neutral. You give the contactor the neutral. Now that switches those switches now. Okay. So guys. <coughs> As we're going to test, follow me. Uh, now, guys, it's time for testing. So I'm going to put on my neutral. But remember, the neutral is not supposed to be put off because when you put on, then you put in the neutral side. Lastly, you will you will, inter you will experience what we call uh, power return. Okay. So then I put on. So now, uh, now it's time for testing. So remember if um, if another person comes from the last entry and then he puts on okay sorry for that that's loose connection then he puts on okay uh he's going to put off then on then off then on uh then if another person he rotates there and then he puts if he wants to put to go out then he use another uh, entry to put on then he puts off okay come near come near so that you, yeah, you can see so these are our switches on uh, if I'm using the the second entry I'm going to put on so this concept guy yeah, will help you so that when you go and uh, find so many bulbs you know you cannot use uh, to light uh, 100 floodlights with this with these switches you cannot my friend you, you use this contact so that you can self-fold that load okay put off. then uh, put on then off put on then off you see you see now how i'm playing with them now that concept you can use so many intermediate with to to to, to light you can use I know somebody is getting me. You can use <coughs> so many intermediate switch or if you have a go down to put on your lights. Let me say for example. For example, uh, to the mining mining section, eh? Mining section. Those lights. Okay? You know you cannot put them on. You cannot put them, you know, in a go down. Uh, we have so many dark areas down there. So you cannot put you cannot use them using a photo cell a sensor you know because that sensor only lights when there is dark but down there 24 7 it's dark okay and you have so many tunnels okay for that tunnel you want to use them using only uh, one lighting system that lighting system you cannot use uh, these 10 ampere switches to light those those bulbs or those flood lights you have to use this contactor so that it can self hold now that load now for that guys one thing i want to tell you don't forget don't forget to subscribe on my channel and also follow so currently we are being monetized so don't skip those ads guys that way you can support us because 
we use a lot of energy to do this uh, content for you and for you to understand so what I will say kindly and I repeat subscribe okay subscribe so the last thing I was forgetting uh, if we have uh, 100 doors and each and every door you want that door to have a switch and that switch you want it to light all the bulbs within the go down so you will use you will use 98 intermediate switches and the first switch you're gonna use one gun two-way switch and the last switch now that takes power to the load you're gonna use uh, one gun two-way switch so guys for that i've said a lot uh thank you and see you on another video bye